Hello, my name is Juan Jose, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom, a custom web browser. So we are going to use Visual Studio 2012. We open it, and once it's open, we create a new project, and we are going to call it Custom Web Browser. We put OK. So with a custom web browser, we can choose pretty much what we want to have on our web browser, and like all the components that we want to have, and the kind of buttons that we want to have, like to have like favorites and more missing that thing. So we're going to put our start position of our window we are going to change it to center to center and we're going to we're going to put the form one we're going to, to call it a uh, web browser uh, cust uh, custom web browser Uh, as you can see, it changed the the title of our of our browser. We're going to go to toolbox, and we're going to go to look for uh, different button. We're going to choose bottom. We're going to choose like maybe four or five buttons. We're going to go here, and we're going to put go back go forward stop refresh and this one is navigate So we have a word bottom and this one are the ones that are going to make our our navigation to table. We can also add um, a data a, a menu. Here is a menu strip. We choose it. It's going to make it here. We're going to save um, favorite uh, website. We're going to put YouTube, we're going to put Facebook, we're going to put um, Google or any any website, your own website or whatever you want to put. So we need to add a text box so the web browser will know where it needs to go. So we're going to go for to look for a control, call it text box here on the text box you can write and basically we are going to type the URL of our page that we want to visit and we are going to put a label on top of that to, to tell people that you can that, that they need to put the URL on this place you can you can add um, you, ca you can change it for a combo box which is going to be a drop down list with different websites that you can add so now we're going to add our web browser control which is this one and we're going to load to make it a little bit bigger here and we're going to start writing some code into our um, program okay so the first thing is that we need to to well uh, first, I will change the color of this uh, window so you see my web browser control because otherwise you will not see it. So as you can see, this is my web browser control. This is my buttons. This is my text box. So now I want to make 
my, my code for my navigate button so I'm going to double click this button and here I'm going to write web browser one web browser one point navigate and we're going to put that is going to navigate the value of our text box 1.txt ok so we're going to test it and we are going to see that it's going to work so let's say that I put here google.com navigate and it's going to show me google right here in my web browser I put youtube com and it's going to show me YouTube into my web browser okay now we have our favorite website which are YouTube Facebook and Google we're going to do the same thing for this menu strip we're going to come back to our design table we're going to go to YouTube and we're going to copy the same thing web browser control one web browser uh, one navigate and here instead of putting the text box one we're going to put quote marks and we're going to put http www.youtube.com ok so our first is youtube our second is facebook we're going to copy the same thing web browser uh, one navigate and we're going to put here Facebook ok we're going to do the same thing for Google I will put web browser Google here ok so now let's test our code we go to favorite website we go to YouTube it opens YouTube, we go to Facebook, it's going to open your Facebook, we go to Google and it's going to open your Google. If you change the website here, we put um, HTTP to YouTube and you go to navigate, youtube.com, you go to navigate, it's going to change to YouTube again. Okay. So we need to make these uh, navigation buttons work. So what we do is if we close our our window and we go back to the form uh, to the form one to the design tab and we go to back. So we make double click on on back so we can start writing our code for this specific button. So web browser point one point back go back so this is to to when you're browsing and you wanna go to the previous uh, to the previous website you can use this code so we go to the forward we, we write web browser one point go forward this is to if you came back with the button go back and you want to come back to the to the side that you were you can go forward okay we're going to go to stop web browser one point stop this is going to stop our website from loading so if the website is loading but it takes too much time to open you can stop it right with this uh, with this button and Last, lastly, we open our uh, double click for our refresh button. And we're going to write web browser one point refresh. Okay, so now let's test our code again. Okay, so we're testing our code again. We go here to Google and we start writing something. 
so this was basic as you can see let's start looking for visual basic so we're going to test our buttons if i want to go back i press back and it brings me back to google if i want to come back to my previous place i go to forward and it brings me again to visual basic if i want to go back but i want to stop the the site from load, load we don't use this one very often and we're going to refresh our page which basically is with the refresh button Okay, so basically, this is your your very custom uh, web browser. You can add more more items on 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 this one. Favorite website. You can have like different uh, columns uh, depending on, on on what the so on what the websites do, like for school, for your personal life, for work, for anything that you want. We can we can change. And this is uh, URL um, text box for a combo box, so you have the option to show like the the sites that you that you that you visit more oftenly, and basically you can you can program your your uh, web browser to do whatever you want. Uh, maybe you want to load a page a certain amount of times every. 10 seconds or something you can add a timer and you can uh, personalize your software as, as, as you want ok so thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to the to the to this channel you can you can subscribe from the subscribe button on any of, uh, of my videos which is this one subscribe button and uh, thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it and it was helpful for you please share it with uh, all your friends thank you